The strongest sorcerer in history versus the strongest sorcerer of tomorrow. Yuji Itadori has locked in and awakened. The biggest black flash in the history of sorcery has just occurred. Okay, maybe I'm gassing him too much. But Yuji's left, right, good night, hit Sukuna so hard that even the light of hope shines black, sparking the entire page. That's what I'm talking about. But it's not only that. Yuji's unlocking his true power with a demon god awakening, as his eyes now match Sukuna's. This entire chapter is in regards to Black Flash, as the king started his own factory of them. Despite hitting two already, which sparked a recovery of his power, Sukuna has dispatched two more, making things <laughs> even worse. However, another interview of Satoru freaking Go occurs regarding an important question. But wait a second, who keeps interviewing this guy? It's happened four chapters in a row. Is he having a post-game interview in heaven or what? Well, they could be flashbacks of his students being taught, as Gojo himself said he would foster a new generation of sorcerers and had said his students would reach him someday. This time, Gojo is here to inform us that even he, who considered himself the strongest sorcerer, can't intentionally use Black Flash. In fact, people assume he can because of the six eyes. But there's no definitive answer to the activation of Black Flash. And even when it comes to Gojo, hitting it depends on luck. Sorcerers have different variables that could affect it, such as temperature or humidity, where we get a diagram of how curse energy is infused for it, which I know for a fact 99% of us didn't understand jack sh** of. But essentially, Black Flash is a distortion in space that occurs when curse energy is applied within 0.00001 second of a physical hit. Now, the math behind this is that there is a 1 in a million chance of it occurring. If you didn't know that, smash the like button. As this doesn't stop Gojo from claiming that despite Nanami having the record for the most consecutive hits, Gojo holds the record when it comes to the highest count. However, it's hard for Gojo because remember his fights just don't last long enough for him to be faced with a challenge. Everyone loses too fast. Think about it. Your average sorcerer is this dude. And look what he did to him in 0.1 second. He needs some milk. However, the narrator declares the exact thing we have claimed. The true awakening of Yuji through Black Flash is here. As chapter 256 states that he will surpass Satoru freaking Gojo in terms of overall hits. Yuji is blessed by the spark of Black. Despite there not being a single sorcerer who can use it at will, he is so amazing that he makes you think he is. From the very beginning, the story has been set up for Yuji to break the record. So you know what that means, right? Sukuna is about to get destroyed with five black flash punches that attack the boundary between his soul and Megumi's body. Why five? Because that would break all the records in history. Yuji already matched it with four in a row against Mahito. And let's not forget, Gege confirmed that a much weaker version of Yuji from the Shibuya arc with the help of Todo could kill Jogo in five black flash punches, a special grade curse equal to 8 to 9 Sukuna fingers. Someone, the king of curses even recognized himself as strong. So right now, Yuji is built different. He's so much stronger at this point. So, Kenge, please, please, give us a moment like this. <laughs> Now, before we get high on Copium, let's rewind a little. We see Sukuna's curse energy waves are starting to match those of what Uruume told us about in chapter 252, where Sukuna defeated everyone in the Heian era using all his power. Hitting two black flashes will give him momentum and refuel all his abilities, including healing the arms he has lost so far. Which, of course, leads to Miguel to think... Get the but this doesn't stop Yuji and the others from trapping the king. Which 
which uh, immediately fails. As he escapes, Maki and Sukuna continue to fight using air itself as a foothold, just as Maki did in chapter 197. Chosso's bewilderment attests to how insane this is. However, the result is another black flash, where Sukuna throws more slashes. Maki comments that the output has increased, but if Sukuna has reverse curse technique back, why hasn't he healed already? Well, chapter 252 established that Maki's attack is making him heal much slower than other wounds, so his hand and heart coming back will take much longer. This is despite Sukuna knowing the contours of a soul just like Yuji Itadori. So what if he's hiding some sinister trick up his sleeve? What did he say? <laughs> Losing two arms means Sukuna is unable to perform the world cutting slash, which would game end the fight. But not choosing to heal himself could mean he is repurposing his energy output, like healing his brain. The king sustained enough brain damage so he can't use domain expansion again. Remember, Gojo healed his burnout five times, and Sukuna did it fewer, but then he faced the consequences from Unlimited Void, putting them on equal footing. Curse techniques are stored in the prefrontal cortex black box, making it impossible to heal the brain easily. Thus, even after getting his own output back, Gojo did didn't attempt using unlimited void, showcasing that this is not a feat that can be achieved. However, the manga confirmed the strongest can make the impossible look possible. So is Gege gonna glaze this man one last time just so Sukuna can clash with Yuji's domain expansion? You know what I'm saying? Well, if not, Fuga will have to be revealed with how things are going. As Sukuna hit our with the fourth black flash. But the man who has fists rated E for everyone makes a comeback. Yuji lands another punch which also states it doesn't matter how many times Sukuna hits a black flash and regains his bloody momentum because Yuji's hurting Sukuna's curse energy output and the control over Megami's body will get dull. It's weakened him to the point where randoms are surviving black flashes from the king. If Goji could knock out Sukuna, how is he not doing the same against fodder like Leru? This explains why he and Miguel can so much as think about escaping. There's no way Sukuna is letting them run away after interfering to this extent and disrespecting him. To come into the fight, be introduced for one chapter and leave as if nothing happened seems a bit odd. Unless you're Gege and planning to cook. I can see what they're doing. What he's doing. He's cooking. Sukuna declared his intention to take down every single person who stands up against him and chop up their ideals. Even at 15 fingers, no one dared to disobey him. Instead, preferring to gamble on a freaking meteor dropping on them to escape to safety during the Shibuya incident. This means that the only place these two are seeing next is Shoko's treatment chamber fam. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. Because it would be extremely out of character for Sukuna to let go of someone who had the audacity to try taking him down. He sliced off Jogo's head immediately stating his head was too high, literally cut the other two girls in hundreds of pieces for having the idea of bargaining with him. People, a natural calamity spares nobody. Hence, I think the moment they decide to run away, Sukuna could blast them with a Fuga arrow or dismantle, as this would fulfill the idea of a predator chasing its prey, a hunter killing the hunted, much like Yuji did against Mahito. Don't let him get up this time. Miguel mentioned ghettos in hell, and they would meet again there. What's hell associated with? Fire. What did Kusukabe mention in chapter 246? The arrow. So, somebody's gonna get cooked. Some of them going to sleep for good! Now, if Miguel manages to make it out alive, he straight up has the best feat in Jujutsu Kaisen because this man survived both Gojo and Sukuna. You know what? Maybe he was the honored one all along. That's why he's the goat! 
Speaking of Honored One, Yuji becoming enlightened has arrived. Not only will he use 120% of his maximum potential that Black Flash provides, but knowing that Gojo immediately learned RCT and Hollow Purple after his awakening, we can only imagine what Yuji will do, such as doing Black Flash at will and making his soul attack stronger, unlocking a higher level of blood manipulation, or buffing everything he does by 2.5 times we can't forget awakening sukuna's curse technique as gojo claimed he would knowing that he's a curse object soaked in sukuna's energy or even better his own domain expansion since domain is a reflection of your soul black flash does this very thing as seen with mahito learning his true essence through it and then evolving we see sukuna get a hold of yuji and tries to kill him but gets hit with Passing blood. In chapter 220, Choso said that his brothers will live inside him, which meant that he had ingested all of the remaining siblings, imbuing their powers within him. So as Yuji escapes, Sukuna notices that he has entered the zone. The narrator recalls that Mahito sensed it, which means Sukuna, with his elite jujutsu, saw it coming as well. Except he didn't see LaRue jumping in. His curse technique not only allows him to grab a physical body but if he has grabbed hold of someone he can grab their heart too this means the consciousness of that person for a moment falls in love with larue as we see the king's eyes literally change into huge Hearts. Bruh, you're telling me Sukun is letting this man escape. He said love is worthless. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. As a result, Yuji lands the biggest black flash in history. This panel was fire! Ladies and gentlemen, Yuji's promise from chapter 214 is being fulfilled. As the king said, the helpless have no choice but to swallow the suffering life gives them. In return, Yuji claimed to make Sukuna swallow his own and stifle his misery. Maybe we're finally getting the flashback of what Sukuna meant that he is from back then. And why is Yuji so strong? The narrator states that Yuji has awakened by unlocking his potential through Black Flash, ending on the most gassed up Shakespeare ass no ever. Even the light of hope shines black. Double speak! Now, this is linked to Yuji's realization of one's existence as body, mind, and soul, where it sharpens each and every sense mentioned in chapter 37. The difference between sorcerers that have experienced Black Flash to those that haven't is like heaven and earth, as the core of cursed energy is being understood. This gives Yuji an advantage as he can almost use it as will. Using Black Flash at will is completely busted, as Black Flash restores cursed energy reserves and makes the sorcerer regain all their stats such as reverse curse technique this means yuji would be able to keep getting up to fight sukuna because of his indomitable soul just as the king mentioned in chapter 248 where his ideal to kill him is actually possible but to enjoy more peak fiction find out who is the strongest saiyan in dragon ball super as they all have a new transformation 